Have you ever tried to read the fine print on anything? As you get older, it gets harder. A caller tells me how he went to a drugstore for some over-the-counter medication. The little box had lots of fine print and he couldn't read it. It was all a blur. He got home, he opened the box, opened it. There was a large folded up piece of paper with block print warning him, don't take this if you're diabetic. Well, he was. He went back to the store and asked the clerk if she could read the fine print on the box. She could not, and she refunded his money. Then he went to a different drug store and found several magnifying glasses attached right to the counters displaying the bottles of pills. No problem reading anything there. Do you trust the fine print on a contract or ads for weight loss products or whatever? With our population aging and eyesight diminishing, you'd think we could get rid of that suspiciously small print in badly contrasting colors. Hey, maybe we could discourage that by getting the NDP to charge a carbon tax on the ink used in the fine print. I know, I know I should not be encouraging them, so let me know your better idea. I'm Bob Layton.